How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Semblink. Semblink is a plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that's going to help you to do a lot of things regarding the metahumans, specifically the metahuman face. Now, what you're seeing right now is one of the things that will help me in particular uh, using this plugin. What you're seeing is something that I recorded with MetaHuman Animator, but the focus that I have on the camera right now, actually my character looking at the camera, is all from Semblink. And what I'm doing is just switching around the various cameras that I have on the scene, because that's one of the features that I plan to use it for. So let's just talk about it and see all the things that this brings us. I'm not sponsored, but right now there's a sale going, so you want to take advantage of that. Okay, so this is a plugin. That means that you will not be able to add it to the project with Fab directly here in, in the editor. You have to go to the Epic Launcher and look for it and then add it for your engine. Right now, the plugin is updated to 5.5, .5, so it, it covers the latest iteration of Unreal Engine. And as usual with the plugin, you have to go to plugins and look for send link. And here it is. It even has a nice little icon. Um, well, according to Yobutsu, which is the creator of this plugin, there are two ways to use this plugin. One is by adding it as a component here. Call it send link. You can see it right here. And the other way is the way that he showcases in his tutorials and the way that I have it here on my project, which is the world actor. The way that you find the world actor is just by going into the general folder and make sure you have the engine and uh, plugin content, these two. And when you type send link, you're going to see it's this blueprint right here. So this thing is uh, very easy to use, is uh, very well defined here in this table. You're going to find if you are using the world actor that you are going to add your metahuman the camera focus target, this is so your camera stays in focus to uh, where this actor is. And then the target follow is what I was using in the beginning to switch around between both cameras. Now, what is the purpose of this? This has various different things, as you can see over here, emotions. Uh, I'll talk about this in a little bit. The reason why I got this is because, uh, as you've seen my videos before, Sometimes I've had to correct the eye position or the head position, even when I'm using MetaHuman Animator. I can do it, but it takes a little bit, and this thing pretty much does it instantly for me. I don't have to do anything extra, so that way I can make these videos and just click, and instantly he will be looking at the camera without having to beg to control rig, grab the control rig, modify it, and all the things that you have to do. The other way that I see myself using this plugin is if I'm live streaming and I'm using LiveLink Face App. Usually with LiveLink Face App, at least in my case, the eye drift and the head movement, it's not captured well. So this will help a lot uh, maintaining my character in focus all the time if I happen to live stream, which I don't know. Do you want me to see a live stream so soon now the channel is it's a small? I haven't done a live stream in a while, so maybe we can talk about that. Uh, moving on to SendBlink, the way that you work it out is, as you can see here, you have movement type. So you have several things like emotions. You can use several emotions. There's more than here, sorry, but there are plenty of emotions that you can choose from, which I'll show in a bit. Now you can actually make it follow the target and your head can move and you can change the eye position. So I, I think this is also something pretty cool. You have various different sliders for the blending of the emotions, the head movement. I find that emotion strength and uh, face animation blending does the same thing. I don't know, you boots, if you're watching this video, comment, let me know. Uh, if I'm wrong, but this thing has a lot of customization. Even the little um, eye movement that everybody has is this thing called uh, say, say, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, saccadic 
speed and saccadic strange so what this is is your eyes if you see your eyes very close you'll see they have like a very very little tiny movement right and left up and right up and down sorry <laughs> uh, this makes it look more realistic this plugin also does something that i found very very cool which is the pupil animation which is something that i usually don't pay attention to but if you're doing eye close-up it's it's something that you need you need because that's part of the human eye so let's uh let's just play with this and one of the things and i already told the creator personally i would like for this to work in the editor right now you pretty much have to press simulate in order to for it to function which is not a big deal except when i'm using those big maps that already come pre-made Sometimes they, they tend to want to load stuff and they have a bunch of VFX. So I'll have to get rid of those in order to use this. But other than that, it, it doesn't bother me that much. So if I press play, you can see that his uh, view actually changed. He's actually looking at where the follow this right here is. This is just an empty actor. It's nothing. So if I move him, is right here. You can see if I move him. Let's see, let's put the camera so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So if we move it this way, there you go. You can see it moving in real time. You can see it moving up and down and all around. And I think that's pretty cool. So the other thing that it does, if we go here, uh, it has auto blink. So as you can see, it, it just blinked right there. And this is very good if you are using uh, the audio to MetaHuman uh, feature that I've already showcased in the channel. It's going to be a link in the description down below if you don't know about that feature. Um, it's pretty much something that transforms audio into MetaHuman speech. Sometimes it does a little bit of animation to the rest of the face, but it, it doesn't look uh, quite good. The animation uh, for the lips and the motion of the mouth, it looks awesome. I say... Sometimes it may even look better than MetaHuman Animator. So in here you have certain things that may enhance that. So you have emotions like right now it says I'm relaxed, but if I change to happy, then uh, nothing happens because I'm not using face animation. I have to check this one. And let me see animation blend. You can see that animation blend is what changes between the state of, you know, MetaHuman being uh, like, okay, and then I'm so happy, and then I'm sad. I'm so happy, and then I'm uh, okay. This is, is very fun to play with. Uh, we have other things here, like sad. Let's see. He gets pretty sad. Let's see. Annoyed. This one's fun. So, as you can see, yeah, he changes. And one of the things is these are all keyable. So that means that you can slide them and you can key them in sequencer. And then if you have your, let's say you don't have an iPhone and you don't have the use of MetaHuman Animator, then you can use this or you don't have live link. Then you can just record your voice, use the voice, the audio to MetaHuman animation, and then just add this on top. And then now you have some cool emotions to work with and your character will blink uh, you can actually change the blink speed uh down here to something a little bit faster because i i think right now it's a little bit too slow let me see if i go to relax and it does it a little bit better see it blinks a little bit faster because i changed some parameters here so this is the other thing that I like about this plugin is it's very customizable. If you go here, this is where you can uh, change the parameters. So uh, this is the relaxed one is the one that I'll be using the most. So that's the one that I changed. And these are my settings if you want to copy them. Uh, I found that blink duration minimum max to 0 0.5 and 0, 0.0, I'm sorry, 0 0.05 and 0 0.08 respectively. Um, they they give me like at least blink closer than like what I look like in real life. So it, it blinks a little bit faster, closer to what I get from MetaHuman Animator. And yep, I think that helps a lot. 
again, this is, this is sort of a convenience for me. Like instead of me spending something that takes me like 20 to 30 minutes to do, I just do it with a couple of clicks. So this is why it is a big deal for me. And if you use a workflow kind of like mine, or if you don't have an iPhone and you want to do something like I do, now you can do it with this. Now, if I go in depth into every single feature this thing has, uh, this video is going to be 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to your boots tutorial of his asset. He has a great tutorial voice, by the way. So you're really going to enjoy that video. And he goes in very deep into every single feature. Um, if you want to see how absolutely everything work, I personally, I'm going to start using this for my videos from now on, because it just makes things easier for me. Another thing that I haven't, uh, shown is that it works uh, with sequencer. So let me mute this because I don't want to talk over myself. And as you can see, he is kind of using the emotion and it's still moving the mouth to what I'm saying, because that's the animation that I got from MetaHuman Animator. However, what you just saw in the intro was me without the emotion. It was just him talking because if I'm using MetaHuman Animator, I don't need the emotions. That was another thing that I think was very important for everybody to see how this works with Sequencer. You can see that it runs live. And if you're rendering, by the way, and you key all these things, since this happens when the game is simulating or playing, when you render, the engine pretty much simulates. So this will be turned on if you are rendering in with movie render queue. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button and also leaving a comment helps a long way. Now that we have started from scratch, I've seen a lot of people subscribing lately. The channel has grown much faster than I thought. I highly appreciate everyone's support. And uh, yeah, go to Fab and go get this asset right now that it's on sale. And I'll see you in the next one.